the Spiritual Dessert Truths episode 147 for Russell Brand and other people. I got a BMI bonnet. <laughs> I saw that bonnet picture and I'm in love. Your mom. I'm gonna marry you and your mom. <laughs> Just thinks she's adorable. <laughs> and to go along with your bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today is the secret to longevity. Ha <laughs> ha! It's about that 256-year-old man again revealing his secrets. It's a story by Stephen Barkeritz from the Spirit Science and Metaphysics. So, what is the longest a person's ever lived for? Meet Li Ching Yun, a man who lived an astonishing 256 years. And no, this is not a myth or a fictional tale. According to 1930's New York Times article, Wu Ching Che, a, yeah, I get these names right, the professor of the Chengdu University discovered imperial Chinese government records from 1827 congratulating Li Ching on his 150th birthday and further documents later congratulating him on his 200th birthday in 1877. A New York Times correspondent wrote that many of the old men in Li's neighborhood asserted that their grandparents knew him when they were boys. <laughs> and at the time he was a grown man. There's a picture of him. He looks about 60, even though he's like 256 years. <laughs> And he wasn't the only one. So, according to one of Lee's disciples, he'd once encountered an even older guy, 500 years old, who taught him Qigong exercises and dietary recommendations. Hmm, that would help him to extend his lifespan to superhuman proportions. Apart from Qigong and a herb-rich diet, what else can we learn from this master of longevity? How about this? On his deathbed, Lee famously said, I have done all that I have to do in this world peacefully last words also hint that one of the biggest secrets to a long and prosperous life it is interesting to note that in the west we're often taught to believe that aging is something that must be beaten <laughs> with high-tech infrared devices and state-of-the-art medications <laughs> so what did he start off with it was reported that he was an herbalist his career started at age 10 where he gathered herbs in mountain ranges and learned of their potency for longevity. For almost 40 years, he survived on a diet of herbs such as lingji, goji berry, which I eat them all the time, <laughs> wild ginseng, hishu wu, and gotu cola, and rice wine. Not wine, rice wine. It's kind of like vinegar. Lee was said to be a much-loved figure in his community, marrying 23 times and fathering over 200 children. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yes. What else about him? According to the generally accepted tales told in his province, Lee was able to read and write as a child and by his 10th birthday had traveled to Kensu, Shanxi, Tibet, Anam, Siam, and Manchuria gathering herbs. Then he switched to selling herbs gathered by others. He sold Lingji, Goji Berry, and Jensing, Hishu Wu, Kotu Kola, along with the other Chinese herbs, and lived off of the diet of these herbs. His secret to long health. Lee was asked what his secret was to longevity. He said, keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise, walk sprightly like a pigeon, and sleep like a dog. <laughs> to these words of advice, he gave to Wu Pei Fu, the warlord, who took Lee into his house to learn the secrets of extremely long life. He maintained inward calm and peace of mind combined with breathing techniques and the secrets to incredible longevity. Obviously, his diet would have played a large role, but it's fascinating that the oldest living person in recorded history attributes his long life to his state of mind. <laughs> so why is it so hard to believe? <laughs> With the average lifespan of the Western world currently sitting between 70 and 85 years, the thought of someone living over 100 years old seems to be quite the stretch. The thought of someone living over 200 years old seems extremely suspicious. But why do we believe that people can live this long? We have to keep in mind that some people in this world don't have a grueling 9 to 5 lifestyle and they don't have to deal with the stresses of debt. They aren't breathing polluted city air and they exercise regularly. They don't eat refined sugars or flowers or any food that have pesticides sprayed on them. And they aren't eating fatty meats, sugary desserts, genetically modified foods, no antibiotics, no alcohol, and no tobacco. I think I am going to live a long life. 
<laughs> Their diet not only exclude junk foods that we so often indulge in, they include superfoods and herbs, which are likely steroids for our organs and immune system. And they also spend their spare time in nature, practicing breathing techniques and meditating, which has been proven to improve mental, physical, and emotional health. And I think hats. <laughs> Smiling helps. Do not doubt for a minute that if we did all these things we knew we were supposed to, that living to be a hundred years old would be commonplace. When we treat our bodies right, who knows how long we can live for. <laughs> it's my happiness song. It goes with longevity. Ah, love you.